USA. Pressure washer perfection. Hi everybody, this is the original Josh back again with Krenzel USA Pressure Washer Perfection. And today we're going to start a series of videos that will help with troubleshooting and repair of your Krenzel pressure washer. The first series of videos is going to pertain to diagnosing the symptom and then the following videos are going to be are going to pertain to the actual repairs themselves. So now we're going to start with troubleshooting. <clears throat> we're going to go over four primary symptoms and uh, if you want to jump directly to the part of the video that pertains to those particular symptoms you can look in the uh, description below and see what part of the video to fast forward to in order to go over those symptoms. So our first symptom is loss of pressure. Now pressure loss can be caused by something mechanical but first thing we really want to do is rule out that it's not any other minor mistake. Uh, you can have pressure loss due to inadequate flow to the pump. You can have it as a result of leaking connections feeding the pressure washer. Um, you can also have it just from having something stuck in the inlet assembly. So, ruling all of those possibilities out, the, the root causes of pressure loss inside the pump are going to be our check valves and or our unloader valve. However, if you're feeding off of a standing water source or a tank fed supply to your pressure washer, water seals can also cause pressure loss in that condition. So if you're looking for solutions for pressure loss, you're going to go to the pump section of the video. Next, leaking fluids. So we have two fluids primarily that are in the pump at all times. We have oil that's in the transmission housing as well as water that is passing through the pump. We do also have a third fluid which is the glycerin in the gauge. Uh, before you start really digging deep into trying to find that oil leak that you think exists, make sure that you rule out that it's not just glycerin leaking from the gauge because if they get bumped hard enough, the seals can fail in the back of the gauge and glycerin can leak out. Now, you may be wondering how can I tell the difference? Uh, the glycerin is clear like water, however it is uh, soluble with water whereas the oil is not. Your, your pump oil should be amber in color, of course it can get milky if it starts to get water in there due to seal failure, but your glycerin is always going to have kind of like a tacky texture to it and like I said, when you try to rinse it off with water it's going to wash off your hands where the oil would not. Um, the best way to identify the glycerin leak would be to look at the bottom of the gauge and around the, the, the rubber plug that's at the, the top of the gauge, um, just making sure that we don't see the fluid uh, originating from that high up on the pump because it wouldn't necessarily be coming from anything else. So if we have oil leaking from the pump, that is going to be in the pump related repairs as well. So is the, the water leaking from the pump. We will break down the two different sections of pump repair for, for both wet end and oil side of the pump. So you'll see those broken down in the description below as well. So the next symptom is the motor won't start. Uh, that it will certainly be affected by malfunctions on the electrical side, but let's first uh, address one major mistake that the operator makes that we, we got a couple phone calls about it just this past week. Uh, your machine comes with total stop. So when you release the trigger, the motor is supposed to stop. If you've hooked everything up and the motor is not running, try squeezing the trigger. That's your first step. So uh, beyond that, uh, if we have any issues with the motor not running, first we want to start from the source of our electricity. We'll roll out a uh, broken GFI on the uh, plug for the pressure washer. Failure of the on-off switch, um, a stuck or broken micro switch for your total stop, and then lastly, the capacitor which helps the motor run. Uh, that's going to be inside this enclosure. So our next symptom is short cycling. The total stop feature on your pressure washer will shut down the motor whenever you release the trigger on the gun. If whenever the trigger is released and the motor is stopped, it kicks back on in what seems to almost be a pattern, a regular amount of time, each time it'll kick on for a second and then kick back off, almost like a eh, eh. Uh, that is a symptom of short cycling. Uh, there are mechanical aspects inside the pump that can lead to that, but make sure that you rule out uh, your accessories first because that is the most common cause for short cycling. And uh, we will 
further explain that. We've done a previous video for, for short cycling, but we're gonna have uh, a more uh, broad explanation in the videos to come. So there you go, guys. Those are our four primary symptoms that we're going to address in this video series. We have loss of pressure, leaking fluids, won't start, and short cycling. So make sure you leave any comments or questions you have in the comments below. It'll help you, it'll help us, and it'll help the next person. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is Krenzley USA, pressure washer perfection. Krenzley USA, pressure washer perfection.